There are many things in life that we hate. Um, for example, I, I hate this intro. The fuck is this? this? Is the stupidest intro? Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another vlog kind of video. Today, I want to. All right. Today, I want to be discussing five things I hate. I notice that I don't really get personal with this channel. The only time I really get personal is when I'm raging at getting over it or, you know, just swearing for no apparent reason. Get in the comments in the comment section saying, Why do you swear for? I'm unsubscribing. Well, you, you know, on this channel, we're real. That, that's all I'm going to say. If you don't like a few bad words, okay? I mean, they're not exactly racist or homophobic. Fair enough. If I was, you know, sprouting out the N word or the F word like Jack Maynard, then yes, fair enough. I would, I, I would, I would understand you. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, there is going to be a lot of cussing on this channel. If you don't like that, then I don't, I don't know what to say. See you later. But yeah, today I'm going to be discussing five things that I... I won't say hate, I'll say dislike. Hate is a very strong word. But yeah, I've made up a small list of things. And as you can tell, this is kind of improvised. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is coming straight off, straight out of here. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, movies or games. Uh, you'll see this in literally any film, probably. Like, there, there's a certain scene where they arrange a meet somewhere, but they don't specifically arrange it. For what, what I mean by this is they'll say, I'll meet you at the club at eight, or I'll meet you at the club tonight. One, what club? Okay, there, there's multiple clubs. Uh, two, you said tonight. I mean, if you said eight, fair enough, yeah, yeah. I mean, between two people who know, I guess, a regular club, maybe, I'll meet you at the club tonight. Um, it still doesn't work, is it? That that, that, that still doesn't work. Because you could be there from 5pm onward. Who goes to a club at 5pm? Jesus Christ. You could go to a club at 6pm, say, and your friend doesn't arrive till 10. So you're sat there like a fucking spare prick at a wedding, just there drinking gin and tonics or Coca-Cola or whatever you're drinking. Uh, you know, getting giggled at by girls who think you're a loner. You, you're there in like a, a blazer. <laughs> Or whatever the hell you're wearing. I don't, I don't know. You could be wearing anything. But I can't stand that when they say, I'll meet you at the club tonight. It's like, could you, could you not get any more unspecific? It really pisses me off. I don't know why. It's like if someone came up to me and said, Hey, Ryan, um, I'll meet you on that bench at uh, 3 o'clock. Right, one, what what fucking bench? Okay, and 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., 3 a.m.? But yeah, I guess my point is, be a little bit more specific. I, I don't understand these superhumans who know exactly where the other person is talking about in a split second like that. Be specific, for God's sake. Number two is narcissism. This is one that I it really grinds my gears. I mean, all right, fair enough. I put a pictures right that come across very narcissistic, but I do it in a way where it's taking the piss out of narcissism. I put up a picture of me in a thinking pose and basically uh, I put as the caption, I didn't see you there. I was just thinking about how sensitive I am. Stuff like that. You know, I take the piss out of my narcissism or I'm not narcissistic. I just take the piss out of the people who are like that. If that makes any sense. You get these people who like, in a roundabout way, they don't they don't think they are, but they're, they're for example, you see someone say like a YouTuber or whatever, they're, they're, they're playing a game, they start like doing, they're doing all the poses, you know, the flicking of the hair, proper like bite, bite in the lip, whilst live streaming or something like that. And you know that they're, they're catering mainly to the females of the, I mean, females are the worst for narcissism. I'm not gonna lie, females are very bad for it. Let's be honest. But I guess that's just the way society has molded us as people, you know? But I think it's become more common for men to actually be that way as well. It's in a sense where it's like, they don't directly do it. So it's like, oh, look at, I'm 12. You know, look at me, you know, the musically, the bunch thing. But they do it as in, like, they'll walk around and be like, oh, yeah, loads of people are looking at me right now. Oh, I'm proper sexy. Oh, I got this new suit today. <laughs> I'm proper sexy, me. <laughs> proper sexy. I can't stand people like that. Number three, people who watch you eat. Now, you know how dogs, like, I mean, dogs are completely innocent for it because they think about it. Dogs are pretty much, their attitude is based around how you feed them, pretty much. That's how you train a dog. You give them a treat. They don't just do it off their own back thinking, oh, I better do this. This is a good mate of mine. They do it because you feed them. And obviously, you feed them enough, they become loyal to you. And um, it's not loyalty out of, you know, friendship or s situations that have happened in the past. It's if I give him a, a biscuit, he's going to be loyal to me because he's going to want more biscuits kind of thing. So dogs, when they look at you eating, it's just, they're just thinking, I want that biscuit. Whereas humans really have no fucking excuse for it. The ones I can't stand and I don't mean to discriminate anyone here, but they're really fat, right? They're like really like to the point where to have a piss, you have to pick up your belly. They've got, they've always got their bottom lip sticking out. These are literally, they're, they're, they're a 
a bunch of people, okay? You, I'm probably describing this and there's someone pop into your head right now. It could be like the local idiot or the local weirdo or creep. But yeah, they stand there, hands on the stomach. Like, I can't, I can't really show you guys, but they got their hands on the stomach, leaning back like that. Because if they lean forward, they're going to fucking fall, isn't it? That's just keeping their body weight in check, the balancing them like that. But yeah, then they just sit there and proper just like... It's almost like they're enjoying it more than you are, and they're not even having anything. You're the one that's tasting it. They're there like... I don't know what that tastes like. Rubbing their nipples. Not gonna lie, guys, my uncle's like that. And leading on to this one, number four, people I can't stand relating to food, uh, loud chewers. Now, this is a, like, a quite popular one, I guess, among human beings. But they say if you have a problem with loud chewing noises or slurping noises, then you have some kind of psychological issue. You're some kind of psychopath. And I don't think that at all. I think there are basic manners, you know, there's etiquette to eating that one should follow. Close the mouth, you know, chew. You know, don't scoff it all down at once. But yeah, you get these people who literally... My mate was the worst for it, but oh god. He picks up a bowl of cereal, right? Because obviously there's milk. It's the best of both worlds, isn't it? There's a slurp and the chew. So he goes... And he doesn't just go... He literally breathes out with it, like... It sounds like he's genuinely having a cardiac arrest and uh, it pisses me off because my dog, my dog does it all the time, Bailey. She, she'll be there like lying on the floor at night. I'll wake up at two o'clock in the morning. She'll be sleeping, not knowing she's doing it, going. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I'd stop pulling faces like that because uh, my Discord are going to kill me for it. They're going to be screenshotting th they're probably screenshotting this face right now uh yeah you should join my discord definitely guys oh and by the way be sure to subscribe and like the video because number five is a killer and number five is people who think they can sing this one really grinds my gears i mean really really badly now there's a couple of people who come to mind when i think about this i'm not going to mention any names it links in with the narcissism from earlier where they think they're re they're really good at singing when they're really fucking not they sound like a cat being strangled and they they think they're sexy doing it they're, they're like oh don't know what song that was. Let's just imagine that was a song that I was just singing there. But they're completely out of tone. And it's just like, they, they, they post it up probably thinking, oh, loads of girls are going to think I'm proper sexy now. Oh, I'm proper sensitive. Look how sensitive I am singing. Oh, yes. If you can't sing, don't fucking sing, right? So when I'm in the car, there's someone. No, luckily, I don't have a lot of friends who sing. But when I do get someone in the car who thinks they can sing, I have to change the radio ch channel. But they seem to think it's like a fucking... They're the DJ, you know? They're the singing DJ. So that they have to actually sing like a karaoke. They think that whatever you put on the radio is a karaoke for them just to do whatever the fuck they want to do. So you change the radio. You, you hear them singing really badly, you know? Let's just say they're singing... You know, Take me! Proper, you know, like thinking they're really sexy doing it at the same time. You change the radio channel, Sean Mendez comes on, then they start singing that song. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not changing this radio channel because I don't like the song. I'm changing it in hopes that you don't know the song and will shut the fuck up. You are the, the cancer of, of car journeys, okay? If you are that person, just, I don't know, masking tape over the mouth, please, for the love of God, it's cringy as fuck. I know I'm a cringy person, right? But at least I admit to that. These people, narcissistic, think they can sing. You know, and here's the thing, right? All of these can be put into one except the top one. So you get a person who watches you eat, thinks they're sexy, uh, choose loudly and thinks they can sing. If you're that person, fuck off. I don't want you in my life. I don't want that kind of negativity in my life. It's not ne even negative, okay? It's just cringy. Cringy leads to negativity. But if you're one of those people, tell you to meet in a certain place, uh, not doesn't give a time or tells you a time, doesn't give you a place. You chew loudly, you watch other people eat, you're narcissistic and you think you can sing. We are not going to get along, my friend. And that is the end of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this of me ranting at random shit that really doesn't matter, then be sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe for more videos like this, reaction videos and gaming videos. I'm trying to balance them all out because I noticed that my reaction videos and these type of videos will do a lot better than my gaming videos. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and juggle a little bit and see what works best. So thank you guys for watching and